Hey guys, this is Shaft, and welcome to our third show match of the night. With me tonight is Sensory Gaming's Matt C. Matt, what you doing? Oh man, Protoss versus Terran. That's what we're about to do. Yeah, I'm sure it made your Zolnaga shine. It did. <laughs> anyway, uh, Spine, I believe you're joining us. You, you still awake? I don't know if you might have fallen asleep yet. Oh, uh, no, I'm still around. I'm like four shiners deep and ready to get deep inside of both of you. Oh, God. oh yeah. Uh, at least I bought a brand new tub of Vaseline. <laughs> Anyways, we are going to be checking out a game on Akalon Wastes. Uh, this is a really, really cool map. Um, And I'm not sure how it plays out in TVP, but I'm sure as hell excited to find out. Here on the bottom right-hand side of the map, we've actually got our Terran player uh, utilizing a lot of Widowmine usage in that last game. It's Dust Simper. Simper fight! Motherfucker. Do or die! And oh. here on the uh, top left-hand side of the map, we've got a blue Protoss playing for Team Root. It is Caliber. Is Simper Fi Do or Die a motto you're familiar with, Matt? That is. That is uh, the Marine Corps motto. And sometimes, because Simper Fidelis is the Marine Corps saying, yeah. it's trademarked. Don't steal it. Yeah, I believe <laughs> you are a military person so you would know that of course yeah yeah moving on uh we've basically got players building some supply i don't think that's any surprise for anyone um are you guys familiar with protoss first terran in the current metagame mm, not yeah. super familiar kind of um talk to what, me about it what the main thing you look for as a protoss player right now mm -hmm. is what you're going to scout you need to know when that early you know what type of opening there especially you need to see that gas because as protoss you want to keep yourself alive while you tech up or you're going to lose and you need to be if they're gonna if they're gonna drop it's really wait, important wait, wait, wait. i thought if you died you won yes you you uh yes malcolm okay <laughs> but and, and really for you know you have to be able to get the early detection especially for widow mine drops because you know if you if, they, if you let them drop in your base, you're kind of screwed. Mm -hmm. True. Yeah, because so, mobility is just not there for a protoss. Yeah, we're you? very we're very slow. So he's gonna look at what he's scouting there, and he's gonna say, "All right, I need to prepare for this correctly, or I'm definitely gonna lose this match." What are your thoughts on afterburners? Are you asking me, or are you asking? Uh, Matt? This is an open yes. question for heated debate. I think I afterburners. Oh, go ahead, Matt. You ladies first. Go for it. I, Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, I feel like I think they're, it's a nice addition to the Terran army. It lets them be more mobile and more active. But I do think that it does need to be energy based instead of cooldown based. No cyber core yet. What? I don't know what he's doing. That was a mistake. Okay. He's also got a he's got a probe just sitting there next to his gas. He's kind of just hanging out. Failed. Watching people work, taking a fucking break. There we go. He caught it. I, I think he just needed to go pee. Don't judge him. Don't <laughs> I don't judge blame him. him. Probes don't pee, Malcolm. They psionically stare. Um. <laughs> yeah, I prefer the idea of a lone probe in a forest with a tree. Leave me alone. They what don't were have you saying mouths. about? So I never say anything about a mouth. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Anyways, what were you saying about energy and afterburners? I, I'm saying, uh, I, you know, again, it's great that the Terran have this now. It makes them more mobile, more versatile. However, I think it should be energy-based, not cooldown-based. Mothership core on the way. What would that? Uh, what would that actually? What kind of effects are you trying to suggest there? Like, well, you, why would that be beneficial? If you look at it right now, they can continue to just. They'll fly away. They'll just wait a little bit. Go right back in. Again, it's not taking energy away, so they just have to wait till that cooldown's done. They're going to be able to hit you a lot faster, a lot more often, which at times can be really, really overwhelming. Mm -hmm. If it was energy based, you know, yeah, it's there. It's not going to be as often though. It's going to give you a little bit of more even footing with them. Okay, and it also makes you have to make a decision between healing or speed. Right. Okay. All right. This Reaper just uh, having as much fun as he wants with uh, the Stalker there. Fortunately, the Stalker is smart enough to use a shield, so the Reaper is going to have to haul ass right on into the uh, main here. 
this is something I've been seeing a lot lately too, is opening with a mothership core and like sending a stalker, zealot, and mothership core over and harassing a little bit. I'd like to see him drop a Stargate and do oh he does have a Stargate on the way yes. good. Because I'm oracles are very fun to see. My oracle control is shitty, but I like watching other people play with MC them. versus Bomber. Oh my god. I've actually heard uh Whitewing talk about uh, this harass. He likes to do it in Mothership Core with two stalkers. Mm -hmm. So uh, we're going to see how, just how effective. I think Caliber, you know, he got a free kill pretty much on that uh, Reaper. However, it delayed this harass quite a bit. I, I don't expect to see this harassment do anything at all. The Mothership Core, you're going to see it a lot now with the Protoss players mm -hmm. for the harassment. One, it does give you the high ground vision for your stalkers. And two, Time Warp. Time Warp is one of the best spells in the game right now. If you place it, uh, say you have a Terran army, place it behind them in your engagement, they're going to be forced to run into you mm -hmm. rather than away, as well as, you know, it will slow them down. So really, it's good for scouting. It's good for a lot of things right now. You can also buy you uh, time defensively if you mm -hmm. don't want someone to run if, up a ramp. If, if you don't fucking lose it. <laughs> <laughs> True. Also, That's if someone thing. is uh, pushing against you, you can use the Nexus Overcharge and, you know, chunk a lot of damage out of that army that Indeed. Hot, yeah. I'm a little bit uh, disturbed actually Caliber's expansion is way late in relationship here to Simpers yeah this is I don't know what he was I'm not sure what he was doing well, I mean he's been probing hard at least he's almost oh they're gonna have his probes to his expansion mm -hmm. well we do have a basically an even harvester count for both players, but with mules factored in, of course, uh, Simper is worlds and worlds ahead. Twilight Council about halfway done, though. So we're probably going to be seeing a uh, blink here. I would hope so. Some kind of blink timing, maybe, with uh, some of this airplay mixed in. Yeah, so we're seeing those oracles fly around over north of the base. Uh, how do you, Matt? How do you feel about the charge on on that, where you have to like flip it on? The, how do you like that mechanic? You're talking about the pulsar beam. The pulsar beam, where you have to. Oh yeah, the pulsar beam. I'm sorry. Yeah, that. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about that? I like it. I like it because, as you can see, they do have a. They have a nice skill set there. Um, and honestly, if they were able to just attack the ground army with regular attack, you know, if I'm not mistaken, they do uh, extra damage against light. Like light infantry. Oh wow! So, yeah. High Templar on the way, not blink. Yeah. Um, so really, I think that they would be a little overpowered. This definitely balances them out. They're still great units. They're still good at picking off the back of mineral lines, and they're absolutely true tears if you don't stop them. Yeah. And with yep, the Templar archive. So storm, a great thing to have. Mm-hmm. Well, that's no. me against your fireball. Yeah, we got two medevacs on the way too. So I really don't think the medevacs are going to be able to get too much of a drop play in usage. These oracles are super fast if he just patrols correctly. Yeah. Uh, another thing, oracles have the envision ability. So if there were to say be widow mine drops or anything of the sort, he can take the oracle uh, or an observer actually. And stalkers do outrange uh, widow mines. Okay, guys, so let's uh, go ahead and prep up because guess what? We've got eight gateways on the field right now, as well as the Stargate. So this is going to be a huge timing from Caliber. I think Sonic Storm is going to finish just in time for this push, too. Yeah, this is going to be like a 1330 timing. However, Simper's pushing out with some harassment of his own. I don't know if this is supposed to be harassment or timing, but he's not going to do too much against uh, what Caliber's fronting right now. Well, Caliber's got a small army. It's his production that's incredible. Hmm, this could get scary. Ah, uh, that was just a. Why bad. would you force field there? That was a. That was a knee jerk that. reaction right that, there. Like, it, no matter response. what, force fielding that ramp is going to burn all the energy he's got. <laughs> what the fuck? That should have been the response to it. But... <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Oh. Semper's going to back away now. All right. Well, uh, I think Caliber is going to follow this up. I mean, he's getting his pylons ready. Another great thing, Protoss get level one now. You don't have to research it anymore. Hallucination. Yep, True. and that is very cute if you want to scout early on, like hallucinate a phoenix and just fly around. Yep, that's what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. And he will see that third command center of Semper. Alright, well, he's going to send a four medevac drop after burned right on into the main. 
Oh you my ever heard god. Doing that afterburn drop, it's kind of like, have you ever heard of the term just the tip? Yeah. Ooh, that was nice feedback on that one. Indeed. Unfortunately, it's not going to kill it, so he's going to go ahead and be able to drop right on in, and he's spreading those units out so that he can uh, target down the probe line. It is going to take forever to replenish these probes. Now, there is a big attack here at the Terran main. Good storms here. Nice uh, time warp as well. Uh, most of the bunkers still up, however. This is going to get scary. This is kind of a base trade at this point, it looks like. Indeed. Yeah. Oh. Cal, look at uh, look at Caliber's base right now. That right there. Mm -hmm. He lost that mineral line and then the Nexus. Again, it's going to come down to, especially as a Protoss player, you have to stop the drop. Indeed. If you don't stop the drop, you are not going to win that race. That was an incredible decision making by Simper. I actually want to rewind to show that to you guys again. All right, let's fast forward it to 10 minutes. I should be about right. Uh, a little bit faster. Hold on. Pull the loading screen back up till we get it. Do, 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 do. You guys know what point I'm talking about, though, right? Um, I'm not actually sure. Are you talking about when he did the drop and where well, he when dropped? Well, when he when he decided he was going to drop. Uh, okay. No, I'm, yeah. I didn't actually pay attention too much to that part. I got you. This is some critical decision making here. Okay. Here's the little time. Oh, let's pull it. this back up. Here's a little timing point. The bad force field retreat. All of this is positional wars factory. Uh, just scouting up that ramp. Blah blah blah. Do, 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 do. Simper gonna go around this crater, gonna go back up the other side. Blah blah blah. All right, now we have Caliber moving out without much defense at home. He's got a lot of high Templar. Boom. Let's pause. Okay, this is this is the money shot. Switching over to just Simper's view. Okay, right. here we go. Just take a look at this, folks. He sees with his factory exactly what is going on he sees where the protoss army is positioned i mean beautiful scouting right here this is all he knows he's got a good little scan i mean he he knows exactly what's going on he is in a position because he knows that his opponent's going to push along this line there's a crater a couple of craters actually in the way he can lift up reasonably certain he's not going to get intercepted and just fly right on in he knows that he's got a lot of defense you can actually see him building all the bunkers here he's got enough production and barracks alone that with good repairs he should be able to hold this was an instantaneous decision to just base race and it was beautiful I just realized something. He didn't have any widow mines in the field. No, not a single one. What a bastard! I don't know. I'm fine. How with dare he not use the widow mines, Wesley? Oh, I just noticed he was going for a ghost academy too. I would have liked to have seen that. Maybe a nuke. That would have been hot. Yeah, and just showing this battle one more time. Here's what's going on in the Protoss base. You just see nothing there. I feel like for Caliber here, he just chose the wrong build. <laughs> he, he built a Stargate. That's great. Continued use of Oracles. Now, for me, Oracles are really a great harassment unit. Not something you want to throw into your main army composition, though. Well, yeah. it, he just got caught out of position, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, he had no idea there was a big drop going in. He wasn't prepared. Right. He was blind. He didn't have Zonaga Towers. He didn't have good vision. Um, And he made a decision to push. Uh, with good knowledge, Semper was like, yeah, you know, I could fight him straight up. I might even win the battle, but you know, I will definitely win this. So, it, it wasn't so much a decision, any decision Caliber made except to push at that time. He even hit at a pretty decent timing. This is a fairly standard timing attack. It's just he was blind. I mean, there's no two ways around it. Right. So, all that being said, though, guys, um, you know, this was a really awesome game to cast. i very excited about it. But uh, we should go ahead and close this out, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit subscribe and like if you enjoy this content. Check out our channel. This is the Clanny Casting Crew. Thanks for tuning in, and good 